Allen, the gentleman right there by the pillar, who is our vice president at the uh, Polingo Center, who has uh, helped immensely with this project in hanging the exhibit, helping Abby hang the exhibit, um, helping make the name tags, helping with the publicity, um, you name it, he's done it. So thank you, David, very, very much for your help. And a big thank you for, for the rest of the uh, Polingo Center board for coming out today and helping with the publicity and helping with all the other aspects of this opening. I am very, very excited about this. We've been working with this one for about a year now, haven't we? Um, and just circumstances have kind of prevented us from putting this show up. Finally, the Cosmic Gears finally came into place and we were able to put this up and what a treat it is. Um, I can't say enough about my appreciation for the work that Abby Jones does. It is amazing. She has shown me new works as they come out by the internet and they don't do justice, this little tiny 3x5 image on the screen. When they were hanging this particular piece here, I saw it as, you know, chunks. And then once I put it up, I stood back and I thought, that is incredible. I mean, it's a, so multifaceted. You gotta stand here and be that way for this for about 20 minutes, guys, I swear. A um, couple things that are in my contract as the president of the Bollingo Center. One, if you love this space and you would like to be a part of our family, we invite you to put your name in our registry book over there. If you'd like to be contacted for future events, future openings, future parties that we have. Um, if you'd like to help us save a tree, if you want to put your email address down there, we will contact you by email. Uh, the other part of my contract is, if you like this space, if you think this space is worthy of keeping its doors open as an art gallery, as a performance space, as a cultural center, then we highly invite you to uh, drop a donation in that little wooden box next to your registration plate. And what kind of politician would I be if I didn't make you guys up for money at this time? So, uh, right over there. Then the other thing I need to do is to introduce the artist to you. Abby, you carry that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Abby Jones. I, she's got a lot of fans here today, a lot of fans as well. She is an abstract expressionist of the school of Jackson Pollock, Steve Joy, Mark Rothko, those kind of cats. Um, she is at the tender age of 31 years old, already a professional artist. She has works hanging all over the state, including Fort Dodge. She is from Cushing, Iowa, but she uh, studied in the area under Hugh Liston for a time, and uh, has kind of taken that and really ran with it, and really had to make some wonderful, beautiful pieces. Um, Do you want to say something you can show? Are you good? All right. I'm going to turn the mic over to her, but first of all, like anybody who's got a glass to raise your glass. Ladies and gentlemen, to the successful launch of Abby Jones.